As the second largest economy in the African continent, South Africa is an upper-middle income economy as categorized by the World Bank. The national economy contributes a hefty 35% to the entire continent's gross domestic product. After the termination of apartheid, the South African economy has produced numerous gains in terms of foreign exchange reserves, GDP and more. It majorly deals with the export of expensive metals such as gold, diamond and platinum, along with other metals. Economic operations began in the 17th century with the colonial invasion of the country. It marked the commencement of commercial agriculture. With the advent of the British in the late 18th century, metals were discovered and industrialization began. The South African economy has changed from a 20th century, primary and secondary sector economic setup to a service-centered economy in the present context. Diversified sectors like mining, food processing, manufacturing, telecommunications and more characterize the economy. Three-fifths of the country's exports is its mining products due to the heavy presence of minerals and metals in its land. Agricultural produce in terms of fruit, wool, tobacco, sugar and more also accounts for 2.6% GDP. Strongholds of South African economy As a picturesque land and a popular tourist location, the tourism industry is the source of 10.3% jobs in the economy. The real estate and business service sectors contribute 22% of the GDP. Automotive assembling and manufacturing account for 12% of the exports with the presence of production bases for major automakers like BMW, Daimler Chrysler, Ford, Toyota. With a well-established setup of industries, South Africa is also the most industrialized economy in the continent. In the 20-year period since 1996, the country's GDP has multiplied thrice and stands at $400 billion today. The beginning of the economy Dutch East India Company arrived in 1652 to create a formal economic setup, followed by the arrival of the French and the Germans. The British discovered diamonds and gold deposits in the 1870s, leading to the annexation of the land for the economic welfare of the colonialists. Industrialization began and trade unions emerged in the country. Apartheid came into existence with the National Party's election victory in 1948. The economy was closed and close to no international trade took place in the country. In 1994, African National Congress came into power and started the work for economic restoration with the abolition of apartheid. Period of 2000 to present from 2000 onwards, President Thabo Mbeki introduced privatization and relaxation in labor laws for increasing the flux foreign capital. Growth rate enhanced by 2004 only to come down due to the global recession of the late 2000s. The recovery from the recession period is predominantly due to the consumption growth in the public and private sectors. Unemployment, inequality and crime are some of the principal problems of the South African economy today. A dipping foreign exchange rate is also a major challenge for the country. The rate of unemployment has recovered mildly from 26.7% in 2005 to 22.8% in 2018.